Have you ever needed to quickly create a non-player character, an NPC, that the players will find memorable in your campaign? Well, in this video, I am going to share with you my strategy for creating memorable NPCs quickly. My name's Inwills, and I'm the Jibring GM. Welcome back to the channel everyone where I create content on productivity, live streaming and role playing games. So as a DM I run two campaigns and I frequently need to create NPCs for players to interact with and over all the years of GMing and please do not ask me to count them I have created numerous NPCs. So when there is plenty of time to create these, then I spend hours on their backstory, their appearance, etc, etc. But when I need to make an NPC quickly, then I use the following approach. And I'm going to share that with you. It's simple, but effective. So let's get to it. So the first thing I think about with my NPCs as I'm quickly creating them on the fly is what is their purpose? What are they doing here in the town or the campaign? What is their profession? Why would the players need to visit them? What do they provide? And what value do they give to both the location and the campaign. So let, give, let me give you an example of a character, an NPC called Sylvester McHoon from the o Odess um, campaign. He's moody but knowledgeable and he's a cartographer and so he has extensive information and knowledge about myths, legends and history. He also, as a cartographer, sells maps including those that may lead to mysterious and long forgotten treasures. So once I quickly made some notes about the purpose of the NPC, I then tell, turn my attention to their personality. So whether they're going to be the wicked witch stereotype or a brawling or henchman, or maybe even that flirtatious bard, they need a personality and this helps you engage with the party. You can think whether or not they're going to be kind or gentle or harsh and this interaction really promotes the personality of the NPC. At this point, I'm quickly making some broad overview notes about their personality and also the relationship they're going to have with either individual party members or the whole party uh, together. I also do something a little bit interesting. I try to write down some phrases that they might use and how they can fit this into the dialogue. In one of my early D&D 5th edition campaigns, I had a tavern owner whose favourite phrase was, get off the table! Even players would mimic it after a while. So once I've got their purpose and their personality all sorted, then very quickly, remember this is on the fly, I quickly start to jot down the possibilities for that NPC. And this relates to looking forward in the campaign or identifying plot lines that the um, party might be able to engage with the party, with the NPC, sorry, in the future. And I have to say that I'm just making rough notes here brief description, bullet points, etc. And this is where I normally go back to once I've decided or the players have decided that the NPC is going to be part of the actual um, campaign in the future. But be ready for that unexpected development of the NPC. There have been some um, non-player characters that I've created on the fly and just thought 
people are never nobody at the party will not go back and visit them or anything like that in the future and so i've just sort of like pushed them to one side and lo and behold the next adventure the character the players name the npc by name and say let's go there now, before I give you one last bonus tip, I have to say that I put this here rather than at the end. So please consider pressing that bell button. Okay, then you'll get notifications when new videos come um, available for you to watch. Plus, every time I post something on the community post and there I write about updates and um, captions, have captions for images and polls and anything like that. So please do press that bell button. I can tell whether or not you've done it. And a quick bonus tip now, if you're like me, whenever I have to create an NPC quickly, the first thing that the characters ask is what is what is their name? And try as I might at this point, my brain only gives me two names, Bob and Mary. Now, although there's nothing wrong with these names, when I'm getting to the stage that I'm actually added new, new numbers after the names to try to identify them further, then a, a real name is probably required. Now, in order to do this and to remember this, here's an additional strategy for you. I find it really useful to um, collect names as I go through the down sessions, in between sessions, etc. And I put all these on a document that is readily available in my campaign. There's some really good fancy name generators out there, but it might be a name that I hear on a film or on somebody else's stream or watching some role playing, etc, etc. And I just jot them down. And then when somebody says, what's their name? I can quickly look up pick one cross it off and know that it's assigned no more bobs and marys and that's it my quick and easy method for creating memorable non-player characters npcs if you have found this or any of my content of value whether or not it be informative supporting supportive or just amusing then please do like comment and subscribe you can also now become a member of the channel and get exclusive perks just for you including member only videos and the opportunity to poll and so you can share your opinion you can also give your thanks by using the cute dollar side in the love heart button it's down there somewhere you can see it and as always, I send you my heartfelt thanks for all your support. Okay, until next time, this is the Gibbering GM heading back to his campaign. See ya. Bye.